The IMF's projections for the world economy have worsened significantly since its last report in January, when it predicted a post-pandemic recovery. The reason is clear. Global economic prospects have been severely set back, largely because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. This crisis unfolds as the global economy has not yet fully recovered from the pandemic. From an estimated 6.1% in 2021, the IMF now says economic growth will shrink to 3.6% in 2022 and 2023. The fund says that inflation, already surging due to the pandemic, will be amplified due to war-related supply shortages. And its world economic outlook says increases in food and fuel prices could lead to social unrest. However, the IMF also said inflation for advanced economies may fall to 2.5% next year. Some economists say that should mean a change in course to prevent a devastating global recession. Uh, threatening to do what it's done many times before, which is to increase interest rates unnecessarily. And that affects the whole world because interest rates of other central banks tend to follow the Fed in the world. And that makes it more difficult uh, for developing countries to avoid crises, economic crises that push millions of people into poverty. But such as the uncertainty about the war in Ukraine, further energy sanctions on Russia, future deadly COVID variants, and more supply bottlenecks in China, the IMF says its latest predictions may be too optimistic. To coincide with the IMF spring meetings, Oxfam has released a study predicting that the pandemic and the war in Ukraine could push more than 263 million people into extreme poverty in 2022. The charity is calling on the IMF to stop increasing hardship due to its insistence on conditioning loans to the developing world on implementing austerity policies while it warns rich nations to avoid cutting spending to preserve what economic recovery there is. Has, has said that, uh, that uh, the suffocating of a uh, force of austerity should not be in Europe. Uh, but, but we don't see the same in, in, in developing countries and in poorer countries. Oxfam says there's a disconnect between the IMF's research, which discusses increased social unrest and more hunger because of the pandemic and the war, and the IMF's actual policy prescriptions for the most needy nations, which demand the slashing of the social safety net, ending subsidies on cooking gas, increasing taxes on food, and freezing public sector pay. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.